Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try to make a rolling pin. So this is my wife's rolling pin that she has that she uses. I'm going to try to copy it and make it make one out of this. This is a popular block of wood. I hope I'm saying it right. Popular um, block of wood. I just bought it at Lowe's. So I'm gonna try to turn this into this. This into this. So as some of you were mentioned before, I was not wearing proper safety gear. And I know that, so let's get into proper safety gear. All right, this should be better than last time. Hopefully I can see and won't get anything in my eyeballs. All right, so now I'm gonna mark the center on this side and this side. This, so I can put the centers so that hopefully it'll start out pretty close to center. So I just used straight piece of cardboard to mark and I did mark diagonal on here. That's pretty close to center right there. And to the other side. Now there's probably a better way to set this up. I just don't know what to do. Alright, let's see if that works. All right, got it all set up. Now, now let's try to make this. Started as rounding the board, and then after I got it, you know, got around, I left about an inch or two on each side, where I just didn't really care about it, and that was mainly because the spice at the end dig in a little bit. And I just want to make sure. So I cut off enough that they wouldn't affect. So then I just kept trying to get this, get it down to the size that I wanted, and it took forever. I blame it on the fact that my tools aren't very sharp. It took a long time. All right, I'm gonna try something. Probably shouldn't do this, but I just wanna see if my chisel does any better than their tools. This rolling pin, it tapers at the end. So I marked about where I want the tapers to be. And then I got a piece of cardboard and I cut out where the smallest part on my wife's rolling pin was and the middle part. I did a half circle and used that as a template, if you will. And then once I got it to the, the basic size that I wanted it, I went from 80 grit sandpaper to 120 grit sandpaper to 220 grit sandpaper. After I got to the shape that I wanted and everything sanded down, I took it to my table saw and cut off the ends to 
where I wanted them to be and then I sanded the edges down and then I put just some butcher block finish on it and that was it. So here's the finished product, not too bad. This is what I was trying to copy, and this is what I ended up with. I think it turned out pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what else you want to see me do on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.